Hello everybody and welcome back to The Last of Us. It is now just Joel and Ellie on the road as we tragically lost our two companions in the last video. But we are trudging on and we are very very close to finding Tommy at this point. We've also now entered into the fall season so we're going to see some changes along with that. And there's a couple things to pick up as we move along here. The first thing we're going to do is move on up to this uh, police vehicle. Because we get our last uh, handgun in the game. And also our most powerful gun available in that category, the El Diablo. It has a uh, scope on it. If you press... Uh, X to zoom, you can see there, which will help. There's some supplies on the road here as well. So make sure to pick that up, because it's pretty missable if you're just moving on along and not paying a lot of particular attention. What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly <sighs> something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, oh, here we go. Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? <laughs> I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. jeez. Oh, but he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, with or without his help, We'll get there. Let's just keep going. Just gonna let them finish up their conversation here, and I'm going to just quickly go off to the side of the main path because there is a comic book to collect. Good Ellie would like this. Another collectible there for Ellie. And aside from that, there really is not a whole lot, and we can just move on through this area. It's very, very beautiful to look at very peaceful there's no infected nearby so it's just kind of a moment to walk along and take in all of the sights that? right there's a hydroelectric power plant it uh it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity look i know what it is i don't know how it does it Science. So I'm gonna open up this shiv door, of course, and I'm gonna loot everything that's in here. Got lots of nice stuff in here, and the best part is I was able to take pretty much everything, with the exception of the arrows, and I don't really use the bow much anyways, so definitely worth opening that up and having a look. And then once you've done that, we can work on making our way across the river here. This will create a nice walkway for us, but unfortunately, it only goes halfway. So, we gotta figure out a way around that. And unfortunately, it's gonna be time for Joel to go to another sw uh, swim, because we have to get Ellie across to the other side. This water would be so cold. Hang tight. All right, let's dive and see what we can find here. If you're able to go into this, I don't know what the, what this is, like a broken down hut or like a building of some sort, you can dive under and you can see that there's a pallet stuck that we can remove and push it up to the surface. I'll bet Joel's really kicking himself in the teeth that he hasn't to... taken the opportunity the to teach Ellie how to swim. I mean, obviously, in this world, I don't think that there's any sort of priority to teaching kids how to swim or any of those sorts of activities, but you would think that somewhere along their travels, they've been traveling together for quite some time now, that Joel would be able to pull Ellie aside and say, Hey, listen, it's safe. We're just going to take a quick breather, and I'm going to teach you some basics on swimming. 
But I guess, you know, that would eliminate her being as useful as she is. Eliminate one of her oh, roles. Give it a spin. And it would also make things less dangerous, and we just can't have that now, can we? Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. Thanks, Ellie. Teamwork. High five. Yeah. yeah. She gets really upset if you walk by her and you don't to give her a high five. You leave her hanging. I'm gonna jump off the walkway and go into this forested area here because there is an optional conversation that we can have about this child-sized grave. That's too small, grave. I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? I mean... What? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just... That's enough. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. So, obviously Ellie wanting to talk a little bit about Sam and Henry and what happened to them and Joel is continuing to resist. That hasn't changed. We do see Joel change a little bit in some ways. His personality and attitudes change a little bit with Ellie's influence, but he's still very much uh, closed emotionally and doesn't want to open up about things. And I think at a point, Joel would have to realize that he's traveling with a young girl. I know, I am too. All right, next squirrel I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. And she has a very different outlook on life than he does. So I would hope that at some point he would at least be a little bit open-minded to her feelings and not in? just his own. Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Oh boy, that sounds like fun. I bet you there's a bunch of bandits in there just waiting for us. It seems like a, you know, likely scenario let's hope not let's grab the map here before we go grab these supplies and have a quick look at what i've got didn't want to look at the map i wanted to look at what i've got uh, i guess i'll make another nail bomb i shouldn't need a shiv i don't think we're gonna be running in any clickers anytime soon so i think i'm okay with this and let's hope we're not going to meet our death by going into this area here, but it doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. What, you know these people? Know him. Oh. My goddamn brother. Tommy. Would you look at that? Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It won't happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh, that's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies. Well, hey, the things really race. turned out. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before. But one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. 
I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. Give the horse some love here. There. Learn a little bit about Ellie. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. And then we can continue onwards All right, let's here. Let's continue the tour. See the rest of this place. It's pretty nice and very, very defensible. You have done Girl? a good job, yeah. Tommy. Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Look, take it easy. Looks like everybody's working together. They have quite the nice little community here from what I can see so far. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including. Joel? Come on, Ellie. Have some girl time. It's okay. She seems friendly. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. I don't think she means you any kind of ill harm. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Wow, that is some good timing. Right. If you've only been here a week. I got something for you. What are the Last odds? Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. And I forget where he mentioned it, but this is where it's mentioned that Joel is from Texas, so I was right about that. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Aww. Thanks, Tommy. That was very thoughtful of you. I'm good. Unfortunately, Joel doesn't want you it. Sure? I mean, I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I think that Sarah is obviously a wound for Joel that will never heal, and I think for him, it doesn't get any easier with time. He's just, you know, one of those people kind of buries it rather than comes to terms with it and talks about it, I think. I would have taken it anyway, had it been me, even if I didn't really want to. Especially because he went through all that effort. He went back home, he tried to find some things, and he grabbed it for Joel, even never knowing if he would see him again, especially because the two didn't end on amicable terms last time they met up. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father, and they set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. Give it up. You ain't saving that turbine. Oh, I'll get it. Been at it for too long to give up now. Just gonna take a brief detour and come and speak yeah, to this woman here. over here, because there is an optional conversation we can have. Yeah, Joel and Tommy's brother. Word travels quickly around these parts. Apparently. I kind of see the resemblance. I see. It's a compliment. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you. You too. That's nice. Just strum up some friendly conversation with the folks living what here. What do you do for protection? Adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We can get an electrified fence when the plant's up. Hey, you still gotta deal with infected though, right? So out of the two brothers, Tommy is definitely more of an optimist. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. 
Yeah, there's a dog here. That's nice. Everybody. He's cute. <laughs> Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. Maybe good to have around. I think animals bring joy to most people, regardless of the circumstances. It's nice that even in a world like this, they can keep pets. These two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure, make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. All right, we're going to follow Tommy in there shortly here, but I just want to come over here and you can see that there's a weapon bench here if you want to upgrade any of your stuff. I don't think I need to um, at the moment, so that is going to be it for me. I'm going to call it quits here, and when we return, we will follow Tommy and we will conclude the rest of the tour. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.